Well, folks, looks like today is going to be a bit of an update video for um, one of my previous videos from three years ago where I did a uh, top four countdown of cold cases and unsolved murders that needed to be solved. And well, for today's uh, cold case that has finally gotten an update, the Fond du Lac County Jane Doe. So, for those of you who remember my video from three years ago, or or if any of you have ever followed the case outside of YouTube, uh, you'll know that Fond du Lac County Jane Doe was an 18-year-old woman who was found dead on November 23, 2008, near uh, Campbellsport in Fond du Lac County, Wisconsin. And for the last 13 years, Nobody knew who she was. Investigators had a lot of guesses and a lot of um, theories regarding her true identity, many of which were uh, girls who had been missing for more than a decade up to that point after her body was discovered in 2008. But sadly, uh, none of these uh, other missing girls that were thought to be Fond du Lac County Jane Doe ever panned out. And sadly, many of the girls that were suggested to be Fond du Lac County Jane Doe, their cases are still unsolved too. So after a lot of dead ends, uh, the Fond du Lac County Sheriff's Office, they decided to give Fond du Lac County Jane Doe a, a more proper burial. So when she was buried in, uh, in uh, December of 2011, she... Uh, she had a huge she had a pretty huge turnout for her funeral and then uh, a few years later they excavated her body to um try a new type of um investigative uh procedure to try to see if um uh narrow down her identity and who she truly was so in 2018 when they um when they exhumed her body for uh, a re-examination, they used um, isotope testing where they determined she came from either New Mexico or Arizona. And she had lived in the Midwestern United States for about a year or less before she died in 2008. And another recent uh, type of uh, research that they did to try to identify and locate her potential relatives was uh, genetic genealogy. Now, at the time, uh, this the only information that was available when I made my video three years ago was the isotope testing. That was the only information that was made public at the time. My guess is because the investigators who were investigating this girl's true identity, they didn't want to reveal too much, because unfortunately that's how some cases go. As much as the general public wants to know, sometimes uh, the authorities have to keep certain things under wraps for the sake of not compromising an investigation. So, that is why as of November 23rd of this year, 2021, Fond du Lac County Jane Doe has finally been revealed as Amy Marie Geary. So, yeah, her, uh, her true identity has finally been revealed. But now the big question remains. Who killed her? Why did they kill her? And are they still out there? Now, I normally don't say this in some of my true crime, true Unsolved Mysteries videos, but... Uh... In the case of what happened to this poor woman, and just the fact that she was dumped in a ditch, 
and just left there. It's truly saddening. And I just want to say that if any of you out there have any information or if you know something about what happened to Amy Yuri and maybe get her murderers brought to justice and to answer for what they did to her, then do the sensible thing. Uh, please contact the Fond du Lac County Sheriff's Office at the following phone numbers. You can contact them at their main phone number, which is 920-929-3390. Or, if you want to leave a tip if you know something, then you can call them at this other number without having to reveal your identity. Uh, their tip line is 920-906-4777. Well, folks, um, yeah. That's what I've got to say about this whole thing. Um, after 13 years, uh, Fond du Lac County Jane Doe, she, she finally has her identity back. But at the same time, it's it's really sad in regards to what happened to her. And I truly hope that someone out there knows something and will come forward to to tell the authorities what they know and hopefully the perpetrators of uh, Amy's murder Hopefully they will be brought to justice for what they did to her. <sighs> well, folks, that's all I got to say for this video. So I hope you all have a good day and um, rest in peace, Amy Marie Yuri. truly hope that uh, justice will be served to, to the scumbags who did this to you 13 years ago. Rest in peace. And uh, until I see you folks next time, this is Josh Guy 64 saying, Good night, America, and to all the ships out at sea.